In this video, we are going to see the programs in Python, uh, dictionary, dictionary programs. We are going to see in this video. So first, we are going to create a simple dictionary and also going to display. So this is empty dictionary uh, created with the empty curly braces. The dictionary name is student. And next we are getting that uh, sequence of value for that name. So I have given Roja, Pooja, Uma. And also age also is given. That is a uh, value 12, 34, 45 is given. And next and uh, the dictionary all size must be equal so that's why we are checking length of name and length of age if it is not equal means you have to quit the program so using the function exit from the module says so the very beginning statement imports this they are going to use the exit function we have to import the module sys and next we are creating the uh, already created empty dictionary just we are assigning the value name with the key capital n a m e and age values is assigned to the key capital a g e so now that uh, values are assigned to the student dictionary and next if you print you will see this just like that And next, we are going to iterate the uh, dictionaries using the for loop. So, create an empty dictionary student and getting the name age. And so we are checking that equality of name and age. Afterwards, we are assigning that uh, value name age uh, to the dictionary uh, student. Next, we are extracting, uh, so students printer, next uh, the for loop, dictionary key, comma, dictionary value in student type items. So student type items, the entire value will be taken, key value pair will be taken, and key will be assigned to that uh, dictionary keys, and values also will be as a dictionary value. So one by one is the best name key. A name key values so Ronnie Jasmine Lucy displayed. And next age key values are 25, 28, 15 is displayed. Next, you can check whether the given key is uh, present or not in the particular dictionary. So, social student uh, dictionary creator and name, age, value, getting through eval functions. So, Rosy, Jasmine, name, and age uh, 16, 18, exactly. And which key you are going to search that is assigned to the variable x. Here, I am going to search the key name. So I'm checking the length of uh, name age. Dictionary all the values must be equals. So we are checking. Afterwards assign to the name age values to the respective keys name age. And student is creator and printing the student. And next we are checking if x in student x values uh, name. But the name key is present in student or not, we are checking. If it is present, then it will display keys present in the dictionary. Otherwise, key is not present in the dictionary, will be displayed. See, x value is your name. So, the name is uh, present in the student dictionary. So, the output is keys uh, present in the dictionary. Next, uh, we are creating the dictionary with a roll number, name, marks for a class. And we are going to display the name of students 
who got above 75 marks. So student creator and the roll number name we got roll number 101, 102, 103 and names Daisy, Pooja, Rosie and marks or 78, 45, 87 for three students and checking that length of name any one uh, length because all length must be equal if it is not equal means you can't create the dictionary so that is uh, for the purpose we are checking length of name not equal length of roll number or length of name not equal length of mark means give you the message when you exit the program but here we are giving all values of three uh, three students mark properly all the values are equal so student is creator and printing that uh, student dictionary roll number name and marks were displayed. Next, we have to find out uh, which one, uh, which students got above 75. That student name alone we have to display. For that, separately, uh, we have to get the values for name and marks. It will be assigned to the variable n and m. And next, we are going to uh, check, compare the marks with uh, 75 in a for loop. So, range of length of n, so 3, n is 3, so 3 names here, so 3, but start value 0, 1, 2, range functions always n minus 1, so 0, 1, 2. So, if m of 0, M of 0, that is the first mark is 78. 78 is greater than 75. It's true. So, if it is true, means its corresponding name should be displayed. So, print N of uh, 0, I value 0 means whose so Daisy will be displayed. And next, I value is 1. So, M of 1. M of 1 is 45. 45 is not greater than 75, so it won't display anything in it. And next, I2, M of 2 is 87. So, 87 is greater than 75, so condition is true. So, the corresponding N of 2, row name is displayed. So, Daisy, Rosie, or got, the students, two students got above 75, it's displayed. Last program, we are going to merge the two dictionaries. So, here creating the two dictionary, dictionary 1 and dictionary 2, and it will be displayed. Dictionary 1 and dictionary 2. Dictionary 1 is 10, number 10, 20 key, and number is 20, and 30 is key values 3, 0. Likewise, uh, dictionary 2. 30, 40, 50 is 10. We are going to merge this two. See here how to merge using the double star operator. Dictionary 1 and dictionary 2. So using that operator double star we can combine the two dictionary. See now you can see that output. The merged dictionary will be assigned to the variable dictionary and you can see now that two dictionaries are combined 10 20 30 40 and 50 thank you